Mm. I've been in this situation. I think I think a lot of people have acknowledged that there is an issue because that takes the biggest hurdle out of the way. But then I find it really helpful to write down kind of what what is it that's bugging? What what is the problem? Because then you can start to see potentially a pattern or you can start to see where it is would be best to go for help because in the grand scheme of things a lot of us work in clinics that are quite small you know there may not be a big hr team and practice principals don't always really know what it is that they should be doing so i think acknowledge that there's something that's that's not right that's impacting on your life record kind of what's been happening you know when are your moods worse or or what are the problems that you're experiencing and then consider asking for help in somewhere where you think that you might receive it. You can speak to your GP. GPs are actually quite good with this kind of stuff. There's a text service called Shout and you can just get text support immediately there. Shout is good. I found it like I think the second or third time I contacted them it was a bit it's a bit like a bot, but sometimes it's actually it gets you to start writing something because they kind of like are how how can we help today? What's your problem? And sometimes just that the writing it down you're kind of like Oh, that feels lighter once I've told someone else and then they you know they they're big about suggesting nice self-care things so that's good um the Samaritans to be quite honest the Samaritans are really good and I know that they t- they say that they're kind of there for when you're suicidal but actually I think a lot of us don't realize when we get that close um or when you're really struggling and you just need an independent ear because the nice thing about Samaritans is they're not there to provide you with counselling, they are a listening service. And sometimes that is all that you need to begin with, is just someone to listen. You don't need someone to judge and then tell you what you should be doing because a lot of the time, particularly with mental health problems, we know that we shouldn't feel depressed and we know that we shouldn't feel like that, but we can't help it. Um, And so that's really nice. Consider what friends and family you can reach out to Um, It's always difficult, you know, necessarily asking for help, particularly around this time where you sort of think, oh, I don't want to burden anyone. But do speak to, you know, speak to someone, just choose one person. If you're a BVNA member, obviously they have a helpline and Vet Life is always there. It's there for everyone in the veterinary community. I haven't spoken to Vet Life in the past year, but I have spoken to them before and they've been really helpful. Most of these I've actually called in the last year for myself. Um, And I think that's really important to say that I know some people look at me and can go, oh God, you're really successful and everything's really together. And it's like, no, I'm I'm no more together than the next person, honestly. Do you know what? I've contacted these places maybe once or twice. I've worked through a problem and then it's just not seemed so big. Mm -hmm.